hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in this particular tutorial we are going to learn about the projection of uh, pyramid uh, solid specifically right and in this particular case we are going to learn about the projection of square pyramid right so you can see the problem statement here so we have to uh, draw the projection of square pyramid okay of which 100 mm side and the height is given means the axis height is given 75 mm long right and which is resting on the side of base in HP. Side of base in HP is basically our uh, top view will be a square pyramid and the right hand side of the uh, true shape will be a line and which is perpendicular to XY. Further, the axis of pyramid is 30 degree inclined to HP means we have to tilt the solid by uh, 60 degree, right? As I'm going to tell you why uh, by 60 degree and why by 30 why not by 30 degrees so initially we are going to draw one square pyramid right so i'm going to select the polygon right number of side in the square pyramid is four right and uh, uh, i'm going to select here right so i'm clicking on snap right so basically from here i'm going to draw my uh, polygon right so go on selecting polygon number of side is four okay then select age right and then select any point here okay and draw basically the square uh, pyramid right so this is basically the true uh, shape of the base right and you can convert this particular into uh, you know you can give the thickness as 0.30 okay because in the position of solid your outer dimensions will be in the uh, dark color right now uh, in the pyramid if you see from the top view right so you will see the uh, slant views right or inclined edges right so therefore you need to uh, draw <coughs> basically the inclined edges here okay so now if these are basically the inclined edges and this particular point is basically you know right with apex or a vertex okay so what you can do basically uh, you can convert this line into you know uh, point uh, three zero. okay so this is basically the true shape of the uh, base okay so now I am going to give the naming okay, go to dtx command okay write down uh, the space where height will be point 0.1 and the rotation angle will be 0 okay so this is particularly my point A this is particularly my point B, this is particularly my point C and this is particularly point D and this center is basically you know uh, O slash P ok so you can write down a little bit of height ok O slash P ok then press escape now this is basically the true shape of the uh, this is basically the true shape of the uh, pyramid okay when you see from the top view now i need to project this perpendicular to x and y right so now i am taking the projectors from this particular point so here okay first projector this is my second projector and uh, this is my uh, third projector okay so immediately we can convert this projection line into cr color and further do not forget to give the dimensions okay go to dimensions like a line so you can use this particular command anytime whenever you are uh, remembering convert it into uh, cr uh, color okay they press escape okay so now you got three particular points right so this is basically the base true shape of the base right right and now i'm going to draw the true shape of the solid so once you see from the front view you will get here at the points okay three different points so you can give the naming write down the text command select any point on the screen okay then height is 0.1 and rotation angle is 0 okay so now this is particularly my point a uh, so the name is little bit bigger okay so i what i can do again i can go on writing the text command again okay select any point on the screen my height will be 0 0.1 addition angle will be 0 okay so this particular point is my a dash 
p dash okay so i can zoom it okay this particular point is my uh, basically p dash okay because this is the base of the uh, pyramid p dash and this particular point is my c dash d uh, dash okay so after naming it another uh, problems in problem set when another important information is given the height of the pyramid is given okay how much the height of the pyramid is given height is 75 mm okay so the height of the axis is basically 75 mm so from this particular point i am going to draw okay press escape from this particular point i am going to draw a line which is 75 mm one two and this is the third point okay so this is another line okay so you can give the uh, point okay and this particular dimension is basically 70 uh, 5 mm so you can select the dimensions here as well okay so this is 70 5 mm so you can convert it into cyan color okay and this basically your axis okay so in axis you are going to select uh, here i am going to select dash because uh, in my particular problem statement if i am selecting the dash uh, dot dash is not visible so i am going to select dash here okay so now you can check this is basically my axis okay now i am going to join this particular points okay by a line okay so i am going to join this one line and this is basically another line okay now i am going to give the naming the text okay select any point on the screen okay point one height and rotation actually zero okay so this is basically my uh, o dash okay this is my o uh, dash okay and this is basically my true shape of the solid here i am writing true shape of solid okay this is for your understanding no need to write in the examination okay and this is basically my true shape of base okay press escape now basically so this is my uh, first two step which uh, we have learned that is a true shape of the base right and this is now true shape of the solid now to rotate this solid uh, some angle will be given in the problem statement let us check that okay so of the side of base in hp so side of base in hp is given that's why our right hand side will be a line basically which is perpendicular to xy and this particular c dash d dash we have to incline right by how much angle when the axis of pyramid is 30 degree inclined to hp so when axis is given 30 degree inclined to hp so there is one formula i am writing on the screen okay so whenever detect okay uh, any point on the screen here okay and the rotation angle is basically uh, 0.1 and rotation angle is 0 so whenever axis inclination is given okay axis inclination is given inclination is given right then base of the pyramid any pyramid base of the any pyramid okay should be inclined by uh, uh, by what i can say by the angle mentioned below by the angle mentioned below okay for example example so uh, here how much inclination is given axis inclination so axis inclination is given axis inclination is given how much equal to 30 degree okay so my base inclination will be equal to 90 minus axis inclination okay or start so is equal to is equal to 90 minus 30 is equal to 60 degree so this is very important uh, viewers right 60 uh, degrees okay now i'm pressing this key, okay so this particular uh, hint is very important to incline your basically uh, this particular true shape of the solid so what you can do here you can convert the outer boundaries right into uh, dark color okay 
so here I have not drawn a line so let us draw one line here okay now this particular press escape control Z okay now this particular click on snap this particular line this particular line so this is not coming okay. so what you can do press escape control Z oh, undo so how you can going to do that redo okay so this is particularly my line okay and this line why it is not coming why this is coming with the y layer okay and this particular <coughs> escape okay and this particular point this particular point this is my escape control J so convert this particular line into by layer then <coughs> then uh, draw one line okay select this line and continue convert it into point 30 okay also click on snap this line and this line okay into point 3 j okay so now you can check so this is basically my what true shape of base and true shape of uh, solid is here now this particular point I have to see dash d dash I have to incline by how much 60 degree base inclination okay then see automatically the axis inclination will be 30 degree uh, will come okay so I am selecting any point here let us say here this is my one of the point control Z okay escape control Z okay click on snap okay so <coughs> let us say this particular point okay so this is my c dash d dash now i have to incline this by how much so the length of this particular is basically one autocad unit yes or no so what autocad unit i have to incline okay so from this particular point i am inclined one autocad unit okay so one then press tab and how much uh, i have to incline 60 degree okay so this is coming like this okay so this is wrong basically press ctrl z from this particular point so 60 90 plus uh, 30 120 degree basically i have to incline okay so one and then press tab 120 degree so i told you this particular concept okay so now you can check this angle is basically 60 degree okay and this is my another uh, point okay you can check that and this particular dimension is basically uh, one auto carry unit so click on snap right this particular dimension is basically one auto carry unit okay convert into cr uh, color press escape okay so this is basically now i need to mark uh, this particular p dash here okay so p dash is how much uh, 50 mm will be it will be 50 mm so for your understanding if you are not getting go to dimension select a line select this particular point this particular point and check this is 0.5 okay then convert this particular line and this particular line to cr color okay now i need to mark one line basically okay or one point so what we can do basically you convert this particular line into any of the color for the example red color then select a line okay from this particular point okay then uh, take uh, point 5 then press tab and the angle is 120 degree okay then press escape so now this is my another uh, point okay then press escape convert this particular line into 
file layer okay now you got three different points okay so now from this particular point basically right you need to draw okay, what you need to draw you need to draw one perpendicular okay of length how much 75 mm okay so how you are going to draw that okay so select one particular uh, this particular as a center okay and from here you can check this is 30 degree okay automatically it is coming so uh, point 75 right point 75 then press tab and this will be 30 degree okay so now press escape so now this is my basically uh, the axis of the uh, pyramid okay so i am converting into dash okay now i need to join so this is my another point okay just press and then join by a line okay so this is first point this is second point it's not coming in line as a line but rotate okay on snap okay so on click on snap so this particular point and uh, so this is basically now i have drawn a line okay and now i am giving the dimensions okay and immediately what i am going to do i am going to convert this particular outer face into you know uh, thick okay so that is visible so this is basically the inclination so you can check the dimensions of the axis okay go to align select angular so this particular axis and this particular axis is you know 30 degree to 30 degree so convert it into cyan uh, color okay now i am going to give the name the text select any point on the screen point to one rotation angle is zero okay so this particular point is my a sorry c dash d dash this is my basically p dash this particular point is my a dash b dash and this is basically my o uh, dash okay and this is basically this step is known as the true shape of solid inclination okay this is for your understanding now i have inclined this particular solid to shape of the solid by 30 degree right so by using this particular principle which you can see right now i am going to draw the vertical projectors so from this particular point okay i am going to draw the vertical projectors press escape click on ortho so that the my projectors will be very good in line select this particular kind of reactor right and again from um, this particular kind of so, okay now i'm going to draw the horizontal projectors from this particular point okay press escape from um, apex or vertex from this particular point okay now immediately convert this particular projection line into cyan color now i am going to mark the points okay so this is basically uh, a dash b dash line so a dash b dash so this is my one point this is my second point this is basically my p dash point and this is my p so this is my p one and uh, this is my c dash line so this is my d dash this is my d dash and this is my o so right now i'm going to join by a uh, line okay this particular point so this outer boundary i'm going to join first second point so I'll click on click on ortho right this is my third point this is my fourth point and this is my fifth up point so immediately what i'm going to do i'm going to convert the boundary into into thick color okay right so now this particular point right uh, basically i'm going to give the naming so for your understanding then only it will be clear to you pretext 
click any point on the screen its height is total angle is zero so this is my basically a1 this is my b1 this particular point is my c1 this is my d1 and this particular point is my o1 that is apex and this particular point is my p1 okay and this is basically the true shape of a uh, sorry top view of pyramid okay now if you see on the top view from the top right so this particular c dash and d dash is invisible okay is invisible so invisible line can be drawn by basically you know uh, first of all you can join it okay and then convert this particular line into dash okay so now you can check this is basically the dash okay and now you join because the you can see the oa ob oc uh, this particular oa ob oc and od from the top right so you can join this particular line right again you can join this particular o1 into b1 so now you can check this o1 b1 is the one slant edges o1 c1 is another slant edges o1 a1 is another slant edge and o1 d1 is another slant edge and this particularly should be thick in color okay so point three zero so this is basically dear student is the solution for uh, this particular kind of uh, problem uh, statement okay and this is basically the projection of square pyramid so here it may be anything pentagon hexagon square we have taken right you have to follow the same procedure to uh, draw the projection of basically uh, to draw the projection of uh, square pyramid okay so do not forget to give the dimension so this is the solution for this particular kind of problem statement okay so if you like this video please like share and subscribe and do not forget to practice at home